This block looks simple, but it can do the coolest things in the game right now. I messed around with this block for a while, and I found some really cool things to do with it. So let's get started, shall we? Well, to start off, what are compression blocks? So if we go over here and select it, you'll see that we have a compress key, um, a distance to compress, um, whether or not it's transparent, whether or not it can collide, and whether or not it is powered. Now, if you cannot tell, this is big because one, there's no such thing as exposed motor lock anymore. Two, you're not gonna even call it motor lock. And three, motor lock, sorry, um, collision lock, what? Compression blocks can't collide. So that is a big step forward for advanced building. Now, how exactly would compression blocks work in flight mode? Well, no need to wait. Let's take a look. All right, pretty cool. Whoa, 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 what? That is actually pretty strange. So it looks like these don't really connect, do they? Okay, I am actually so stupid. I forgot to add these. All right, let's see. Oh, what? What is this? Anyways, like any sane human being, I went to the Plain Crazy Community Discord server for- you know, on second thought, I don't need any help. Well, anyways, let's try and take this step by step. So first of all, let's compact this bottom layer, and you'll see that it kind of comes up like this. So that's our first step. Now, if I go on and add another layer of compressors, you'll see that some weird things start to happen. Not only that, when I spawn in and attach blocks, you'll see that the blocks stay in their same position and do not compact downwards. So what am I doing wrong? Well, to help figure things out, I made this model. And this was actually very useful. So on the very left at negative 0.5, it compacts down to the height of a motor lock. And as you go up all the way to 1, you'll see that 1 is basically the height of 2 blocks. And by the way, at 0, the compressor will be at the height of a default block. And after I made that model, I immediately thought, how can I apply this? And my mind went to this almost right away. This is one of those classic situations where you need to pull a block up by just one space. All you have to do now is press G. And in fact, using that same logic, if I press G here, I can make a tower two times as tall. I just need to make it work next time. Also, I do want to mention the powered option does not determine whether or not the compressor actually works. It determines whether or not it automatically compresses when you spawn in. Anyways, since the compression tower was still not working, I tried thinking of other ways to apply the compressions. Now, this is a different ramp from what you guys just saw, but when I press G, you can see it becomes a little bit steeper. But this is my first idea. Players can literally make angle lock 2.0 with this. Now, after a few minutes of tinkering, I came across this design, and it's actually pretty good. So on the left side, we have the distance set to 1, and we have 2 compressors and on the right side we have the distance at the negative 0.5 and over here we have a compressor and we'll talk about that later so when I spawn in you'll see that it will automatically create this ramp and you'll see because of uh, the Pythagorean theorem this motor is off center but we can quickly finish that problem so this base here is 7 that's 49 this will be 4 so that's 16 that is 65 that means this area has to be around 8 of course this beam is seven blocks long so now that is about 0.8 and if any of you guys got a different answer I have the reason why it is in the description of the video okay I think I just came across one of the coolest features of this update so if you look at this what do you think this is huh that's right an invisible obby and if you look into the compressor block you have distance one transparent true can collide true and it's powered okay uh, compression key can be anything you want, right? And just make a simple obby out of it. Make sure you can jump across them, of course. And then you can use cameras to support them and put them onto this anchor block. And look what happens when you spawn in. Look at what happens. And because of the functionality, uh, they go invisible because of the transparent. But because can collide is enabled, they'll go slightly translucent when you go near them. So look at this. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And then when you hop on the first platform, the second one appears. And then the third one appears. And then the fourth one appears. And then the fifth one. The six one oh well you get the point right that is insane imagine the things you can do with this right and is that a mad attack statue i see in the distance huh well what if somebody wanted to steal that right and they come close to it right and then all of a sudden a giant force field appears in front of them from a decorational standpoint this is like revolutionary if rick like you know decides to keep this this block has so much potential to do so many cool things i showed you just two examples but think of how many different things players can make out of this in fact, if you've already made something cool with compressors, I want you to tell me below in the comments. I'll be sure to go down there once in a while, give some replies, add some hearts, just see what you guys are up to. Yeah, anyways, bye.